Hello and welcome back to Seeker and Confessor, a Sword of Truth podcast. My name's Lauren. And I'm Frank. And today we are going to be talking about chapter 15 of Wizard's First Rule, first book in the Sword of Truth series by Terry Goodkind. And this is episode 10. We made it. Woo! 10 episodes. Yes. I guess you don't have anything to say about it. It's, it's a big milestone for us. Double digits. I just feel like you're being sarcastic. Only a little. Only a small. Well, I think it is exciting. I do too. We're breaking the stats. The podcast stats. What are the stats? I don't remember. It's something like most podcasts don't go past like three or four episodes. And then like, well, it's like only like 10% get to like 10 or more. Top 10% of all podcasts. You I, heard it here first, guys. These are bad stats. Don't listen to me. Top 10%. So it's something... It's something exciting. Joe Rogan, we're coming for the throne, right? This is yeah. This isn't niche or anything. Nah. So Lauren, why don't you tell us about chapter fifteen? Well, you know, I like to go back and I I start at where we left off. That's a good way to do things. Yeah. Yeah. So in chapter catch people up. Yeah. Chapter fourteen, we left. It was an action packed chapter. Oh yeah. We left off. Chase Zed out of commission, KO'd, unconscious. Laying on the ground. No, actually, they're laying on the back of the horses. <laughs> they were on the ground. Then they were on the horses. Then they were rearranged on the right, horses. Right, right. Mm-hmm. But they're still knocked out. Yes. And so Richard and Kaylin take off. They're lost until they're kind of not lost. And we left off. I'm right. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. And yeah. then... We left off chapter 14, the end, with a cliffhanger that the heart hounds are howling. They're after them. The hounds are coming. Yeah. They're and chasing so them down. We pick right back up. Um, horses are running. Heart hounds are chasing. Hearts are pumping. <laughs> and the hounds can hear it and smell it and see it. And, and they want to eat it. And they want to eat it. Yeah. And so anyway, it's not that interesting. They're just, you know. No. Another racing through the woods. Wonderful description of nature by Terry. Some were nice. I did find, um, I found it a little confusing, but I think this really is hard because I don't know that Terry's like the best at describing certain, certain things. What are you struggling like with? Like fight scenes. Yeah. I find his nature writing really pretty and nice when it's sort of like, oh, over there are mountains and I'm looking mm-hmm. at the ground and it looks like this and the vegetation looks like this. But the second we start getting into like, like the fight scenes, like momentum, mm-hmm. I start getting confused. Fair. I didn't feel as confused, but that's interesting. I also think I'm particularly bad at keeping the visualization aspect yes. and all that. Yeah. Okay. I could see that. And then I don't know that he's like a master at it, which like he doesn't necessarily have to be, but the no. combo. And I agree with that. And every little thing. So. Terry just can't stop inserting Richard internal monologues, which kind of, I think, impede the pacing he's trying to establish. Maybe. Yeah. Like, that could be what's sort of throwing me off. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I think I am just really bad at it. But. Maybe. Kaylin's horse disappeared over the edge of a drop. Richard reached the brink of the sharp slope and saw her again descending into a bowl in the earth i don't know why at some point my brain like could not picture this i initially just pictured her like falling like i was like oh she's well oh, like I but think I, she's not she's bit. just no, riding she, in no she's riding in but it's like you know they're riding flat and the the land's going up and then it sharply descends yeah she goes over the lip richard's like Where's she going? It's meant to build tension because you're galloping ahead, but you can't see where she went. I don't know why my brain immediately just pictured her like flying into a into like the Grand Canyon. Like that's what I thought. Well, yeah, that's that's what's hard about writing too, because it's like he could have approached it the exact same way, and that could have been the end result. Could have been, and she I'm, was in free fall for miles down. I guess maybe you wouldn't say descending. I don't know why that plummeting. Like, it's, like, yeah, yeah it's kind of, it's odd that my brain it was gave his me that way to visual. keep the momentum going and give you a little bit of suspense, and also suddenly turn you into the swamp. That was his. Yeah, that was his literary mechanism of being like it's literally a divisive line in the earth. So they're on the trail and water's like kind of like coming over the trail. Mm-hmm. It's getting swampy. Yeah, it'd be swamping. And they see in the distance that there's like an island 
that has high land. Yep. And a house. Yep. At a house. That's where Shrek lives. Anyway, so they see the... Island. The island in the distance that doesn't have Shrek's house on it. Unfortunately. And they're like, well, I guess that's where we're going. And Richard's like, maybe that's why Chase wanted us to get to the swamp. Because, yeah, like, he, maybe the Richard hounds... Richard doesn't know why Chase said this is a good place to hide from the hounds. Right, but that, that was a good yeah, guess. Yeah, like, maybe they can't cross water. Maybe it's, like, some sort of holy thing. Which yeah. I'm still not entirely sure, but... Like, what do you mean? What the real... Ra- I know they state, they postulate what they think. I thought they couldn't swim. No, it says they're afraid of the snakes. That's, Richard oh, thinks then they're, they're scared right, of the and snakes. And then they're also afraid of the snakes. Right. But... Mm-hmm. One or the other. It's not clear. Why are beasts from the underworld afraid of snakes or can't swim? I, I don't know. I, the swim, I'll take over the snakes. You know? <laughs> I'll take, Well, the like, snakes aren't from the underworld. They're just snakes. That's what I mean. Maybe so, they're not. No, but maybe they're not. I don't know if the snakes are just snakes. That's true. They did act kind of weird. Can we get to it? I'd love to. So they go in the water with the horses. The water is three to four feet deep. I don't know why I wrote that down, but mm-hmm. the water is three to just four feet deep. Just touching the underbelly of the horse, yeah. Yeah, so they're going through the water towards the island, and then Richard, Kaylin's ahead, okay. and Richard notices snakes are coming. Snakes are coming. From every which direction. Oh. Snakes be slithering. What? We should have gotten, like, a bunch of rubber snakes. You didn't? No. <laughs> yeah, no. Um... <laughs> Yeah, you're right. We we should have for this. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yo, this belt is so multi-purpose. Coming in clutch. Tendril monster? No, this is a snake. <laughs> Biggest thing I've ever seen. Ah! <laughs> wow. Good thing I got my sword. That was so clever. Mm. You know it. I'm in shock. I'm really impressed. About the the snake? The yeah, the fact that that was Chase's weapon belt. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It was the smoke monster, and mm-hmm. now it was the snakes. Now it was the big scouse, What's scouse it snout, be swamp snakes. Next. When I turn this shit into the box of Orden, you're going to be real fucking <laughs> shook, but that's for another day, yeah. lady. Yeah. So anyway, their snakes are in the water coming at them. Yeah. And, quote, Richard had never seen snakes this big, which kind of suggests that they're not normal snakes. It does. Because Richard's out in the woods a lot. He is out in the woods a lot, but he's in the north. And in my understanding. I think snakes would be getting smaller, not bigger. But he's going south. So they're getting bigger. Oh, I thought you were saying they're no, no, act no. currently. I mean, his gotcha. understanding of snakes <laughs> might be like... get that far. It's been like a day. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. Um, but there's like... They got like copper splotches and they're yeah, like yeah, black. Yeah. So I don't know if the intention is they're like pythons or they're poisonous. No but they idea. are all like video gamely like coming directly at them. Until. Until. Richard, Richard dips puts... that thing. He does. He dips that thing. He dips that just to see, or no, no he, to he get was, ready to he swing was at the first ready one to f- to cut their heads off. Yeah. And he puts his sword in the water. Yeah. And the snakes are like, oh no, which a little biblical. I'll just say. Is it? I just mean, the imagery of. Do you mean like? Do you mean like St. Patrick or like? <laughs> what? Didn't he like turn the snakes away from Ireland? Isn't that like the whole thing? <laughs> idea no i want to look it up this is why i'm gonna trivia this is the weird shit that i know (laughs) did saint patrick send the snakes away from ireland (laughs) Uh did saint patrick get rid of the snakes of ireland no it's definitely not what i had in mind according to the legend the religious man known as saint patrick traveled from britain to ireland to do missionary works while he was there he's attacked by a group of snakes Serpents are a symbol of the devil, and he cleansed the Emerald Isle okay. of evil by shooting every legless reptile he could find into the ocean. Okay, well, like, that's not what I meant, but then it also actually is exactly what I meant. Look at that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Cool, you're saying, how is it biblical? The same way that story is yeah, biblical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the imagery of him with his cross. Yep. The sword. Fuck. Right. Dipping it to the water. Putting it... Piercing the plane, making okay. it cross shit. Yep. Communion. I don't know. It's not communion. What's the... 
what's the oh, oh okay holy water yeah, yeah that's what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah and so then yeah and then the and then so the snakes is a symbol of evil are driven away from and the they're running holiness away. of truth yeah and it's also kind of giving like king arthur a yeah, little yeah, bit yeah, and yeah, like yeah, sure the lady of the lake sure like is that, is that i feel Caitlin like right it, i was like oh i feel like it's like baptism mm. imagery like richard first of all zed and Chase, his, like, guides, mm-hmm. are unconscious. So it's, like, Richard's first time with the sword himself uh-huh. making yes. decisions. True. And so, like, all the all the father figures are gone. And then he immediately yeah. has to go through a body of water with, mm. the, yeah. with this big symbol, the sword. Like yep. I said, kind of like King Arthur-esque. Yep. The snakes are running away. I don't know. It just seemed like something. Listen, I'm glad you're here for it because I'm not paying attention at all. I'm just like, what's up with these snakes? Copperheads? Cop- what is yeah, that? I don't mean? know. Is that, is that venomous? <laughs> uh, so anyway, sword goes in, snakes swim away, and then Richard's like, let me test this. Pulls it out, they it. come back. Yeah, he's Puts sci- it back in, they go away. Scientific method. And quote, he wasn't sure why the magic would function this way, but was glad it did. <laughs> That's valid. That's valid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know why it protects me from snakes, but good thing. Yeah. Yeah. And so then they basically like take out a tarp. They set up a little tent. Mm-hmm. They light some candles. Yeah, a little some romantic nice kind of evening. It's raining, right? Yeah, it it's, is. It's raining. raining here, but they have a candle under their tarp, which I guess you could do. Yeah, seems sure. a little dangerous. But. I'm sure they got it under control. Yeah, and the snakes won't come on the island. That's that's important, right? Because Richard, I guess, just leaves the sword. No, he just like I hope they don't come on land, and then they didn't come on land. Are you sure, I feel like he left it in the water, like a little bit. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, no, I think it was as soon as they came out of the water, he took it out, and they didn't. They just went about their business. Something I want to call out. Yep, do it. They. Richard at some point is like looking at the heart hounds yeah, across yeah. the water and they're all like stalking yeah, out they're, there. They're prowling. They won't come in the water. But he says they're big black bodies. Uh huh. I thought we had established that they are tan. You can't tell what color they are at night. That's why no one knows what color they are. But we had. Kaylin. Yeah, I know. And it was confirmed. So why are we describing them that way? You sure they weren't talking about the snakes? <laughs> they're definitely talking. Big black bodies. What does that mean? The snakes are described as big and black. So. I thought you said they were copper. They had copper splotches. <laughs> are they black otherwise? I think it, I think he was just saying like they have they're, they're shaped like black mounds because they're big scary dogs in the in the darkness. Just saying. To his eyes at that moment they were black. Yeah. He knows they're tan theoretically, but there's no light. Okay, well anyway, the sausage comes back. It does. Were you excited? Oh, I fucking, I all caps, more sausage. Well, I don't know if it's more, is it the same sausage? Maybe it is diff- new sausage. Richard's got, like, weak old sausage in his pockets? No, I think he re-upped at Zed's or something. No, no. No, Chase. Chase's, uh. Yeah, Emma. Emma. Chase's, uh, Bo. Emma Blackstone. Yep. Yeah. EB. Giving Richard a little bit of sausage for the road. A little road, been little the other road sausage. I thought it was going to be the other way around fuck it should have been no, she doesn't need it she don't she She's can't handle that home. you know the little ds double sausage <laughs> we're not there yet not yet richard can't uh, he's, uh, he can't uh, handle that uh-uh. um what what so what's chase's plan here because like without a magic sword how do you get to this island <laughs> maybe this wasn't the plan it just worked out? Yeah. We don't know that this actually was where they were going, this island. Well, they were going to this this swamp, so clearly the snakes or whatever. Yeah, I have no sense of how big the swamp is. Like, I don't know. Yeah, there could just be a, like, tree that Chase climbs in here. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I, who knows? But they were like, well, or you could take the island with the magic sword approach. Yeah, I don't know. Chase clearly, never clearly figured Clearly Chase out. had some plan. Te- yeah, situation yeah. he was okay. going to make work. Kaylin doesn't like snakes. Right. Richard at some point mentions that there are snakes, which she clear- hasn't noticed yet. Yeah. And Somehow. she really doesn't like them. Is it going to be plot relevant? 
or are we just showing that she's like needs protecting? Mm, but if we're considering it, the biblical reference, i I swear to God, I'm thinking snakes are like a theme. theme. Yeah. Well, she didn't like apples either, but now she does. So. Right. Well, speaking of. Maybe she never met a good snake before. Snakes are all poisonous in the Midlands. <laughs> there was actually a zip file. Yeah. And <laughs> they said, I fix snakes. Squiggly, um, <laughs> no-limbed reptiles. All poisonous now. Fucking penis roll! <laughs> he keeps getting the spells. Um, well, just what because I, I keep going on about the biblical imagery. Again, I don't actually know if Terry is a Christian or not. Or was at this point. I don't know He's anything He's probably about raised that. Christian. I'm just going to throw that out there. I we don't, don't know, know that. I have no idea. And But... The sort of truth, because I follow the hashtag on Instagram. Yeah. And I get so much, like, biblical quotes. Like, I'm getting lots of Bible content in the sort of truth hashtag. So clearly... Like for the show or just in general? What do you mean for the show? Like sort of... Tr- well, oh no, it's Legend of the Seeker for the show. So this is referencing the book mostly, right? Well, they're not talking about the book. They're talking about the Bible. <laughs> it's just... Sort of truth from the Bible? There's some, like, crossover happening where, like, there's, like, a bunch of Christians in this hashtag. There's a sort of truth? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Did St. Patrick get rid of the snakes? Sort of truth? There's something going on because I just see tons of, like, Christian content. So that's all I can say. I don't... What is the sort of truth in Ephesians 6? Hebrews. Oh. Let's see. Click on that. What does it say? If he takes up his sword, he will perish by the sword of his enemy. By saying the sword of the spirit, he tells us that the sword we wield is a spiritual sword. It's not a word we use to force people into believing what is true. It is a sword of truth and wisdom from the word of God. See, like, I mean, it wow. totally could be a coincidence. It could be, but... But it might not be. Yeah. And it... Wire-wrapped hilt that says truth. It, it's all here. <laughs> Dark and roll. Oh, my God. Dark and roll. <laughs> In John 9, 17. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so, just one more thing about the sausage, because we should go back to that. They make a point of saying that they eat the sausage on their last loaf of bread. But it's okay. not their last sausage. So does sausage come back? I'm just throwing yeah. it into the future episodes. How many more sausages does this motherfucker have? Are we going to be in the People's Palace and Richard's well, it, like, one more ration of sausage before it we... It travels well. And they're probably going to re-up. And it's scentless, so... <laughs> I don't think it's causing any problems. Not yet. And so Richard and Kaylin sit down yep. they're talking mm-hmm. they discuss getting attacked at the boundary they do Kaylin's like is the thing that was attacking me did it look like my sister to you richard's like no no it did not but it i'm like trying to understand mm-hmm. the, by the description of how the thing was grabbing her i'm like what do you mean it looked like your sister did it what look like my sister mean? with a giant tentacle <laughs> coming out <laughs> of her my sister with huge long arms i think it's like a psychic manifestation <laughs> of the thing where it's dragging you in but you don't see the thing you know what i mean you only see your i don't loved know one. i was confused anyway richard's like nah I, that didn't look anything like your sister i assume that made her feel better <laughs> then they also talk about how it was strange that the monster like clearly like located Kaylin's at chase fuck them up no problem but it was like trying to go for richard but couldn't seem to locate him was the sense that they got interesting which is interesting and then they uh, you know they're intelligent enough to be like maybe it's a sword but they don't settle on that because mm. they can't know and so it's just a mystery but it's a good yeah. mystery i think i kind of remember what it might have been but and it's related to the sword but not quite is it the tooth oh I don't think so. I don't think so. There's no reason to think no, that. No, I think it's the, um, I think Richard's important to the Boxes of Warden thing. Oh, right. And I think the power of the underworld can't actually affect him as much mm. as. Well, I mean, he was like getting, he well, was that, like that about was to his run choice. in there. He, he could be like cajoled oh, into okay. it, I guess. They just can't go They can't like directly. get him. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Um, and then he also considers how he didn't feel any pain when he killed all of True. those mon- they didn't, the tentacle monsters. Yeah, he felt nothing. And Kalen was pretty fucked up from killing a tree. So it's interesting right. that he 
could kill a whole monster and it didn't feel like anything. So that suggests that there was no goodness in them. Exactly. Because he, the pain is coming from how good the thing, the thing is. Yeah, the good left in the thing that you kill. They have their conversation that's about like, oh, if Kaylin's like, if Zed and Chase don't wake up. We're leaving him for the snakes, right? <laughs> yeah, he's like, Richard, we're going to have to keep going. And Richard's kind of like, oh, uh, do we? And she's like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, she's like, yeah, we have to leave them. And he's like, I won't. Unless I really have to. And then he's like, and I'll probably find someone for them to stay with that we can trust. And she's like, well, that's what I meant. And it's like, I don't know that that's what she meant. No, it's not really what she meant. But they do compromise. I thought it was interesting because it was a distinctly different approach to the conversation than the one he had with Zed. Interesting. Which clearly worked better. With her. The way Kaylin approached it. Yes. And it would. That makes sense. Zed's a clearly like... No bullshit, super powerful wizard man who's just like, you make the wrong choice, like, fuck you and your whole family. Yeah. And Kaylin's like, you know, a sensible, sad young woman who wants the best for everyone. I just was comparing the conversations. I thought that was worth noting. Um, They don't want to go to sleep, so then they build litters, like, to drag. For several hours. Yeah, Zed and Chase the next day. Okay. Yeah. Um, then Kaylin falls asleep on, she like falls asleep on Richard's arm. Oh yeah, so sweet, yeah. Then eventually they, she falls asleep on him, has her little nightmare. Then she wakes up and she's like, you should sleep. He sleeps. For like 45 minutes. They wake up. Kaylin gives him some tea. Yeah, she, she like heats tea over a tea light for like four and hours. And Richard is like, his mind is blown. This, this lady made hot water by holding water over fire he said yeah he makes a comment that was like i was like all right relax it's not that impressive anything kaylin does is and zed's breathing has slowed when they check on him quote zed seemed hardly alive sounds bad it's definitely not good they ride out of the swamp. They put the litters on. <laughs> they ride back into the swamp. Yeah, I know. They pick everyone back up. No, they no, no. ride again. Blah, I wasn't going to get into it, but that's not that's not the order it happened in. I don't care. It happens way too much. They go to and fro. We're just being really, really literal about exactly how. And because he's not wrong. You are like, yeah, that is how you'd have to do uh-huh. it. So, but I don't care to read about it that much. Again, I think we're just really grumpy because we like read it Starting and then we go stop. back yeah. and read it again. No, you're right. And, yeah. So <sighs> that one didn't bother me that much. It was fine. fine. So they travel. They reach South Haven, the town Thank that they were God. trying to get to. It's a shithole. It's a, it's a real garbage. You wouldn't you wouldn't even stop long enough to rate it on Yelp, but it definitely gets a one star. <laughs> Who rates towns on Yelp? you haven't been (laughs) um yeah it's not a it's not an attractive place that's for sure no uh they're just say the buildings are like unpainted everything's falling apart badly carved signs there's garbage stacked up it's garbage stacked (laughs) up yeah it's the bad part of town yeah but the whole town's the bad part stumbling it yeah so on their way in, Richard says to her, stay close to me. The men here are dangerous. And Kaylin, quote, mm. smiled oddly with one side of her mouth and said, I'm used to their kind. And then Richard's like, what the fuck does that mean? I'm we, trying to picture that he's smile. About, can, you, can you give it to me? <laughs> well, I can't see the other side of your mouth to confirm. Yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. <laughs> that's it right there i'm used to their kind it's this is that like an emoji it's kind of reminding me of that one that's like <laughs> do you know what i'm talking about the no the, the one that's like <laughs> oh yeah do you know you know what i mean yeah uh, With, like the, 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 yeah, the yeah. yeah 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 i don't know <laughs> so anyway yeah, a lot is about to go down. A lot is about to go down. We're going to learn a lot about Kaylin, how she's that girl. Yes. Yeah, we are. You're right. And she yeah. already started here with that smile. It's We're off to the races already. Why is she used to their kind? 
Uh, she has been traveling the Midlands for a I long guess, time. I guess, yeah, I guess so. And they go in. There's a bunch of scary, dirty men. The scariest and dirtiest Richard's ever seen. Does he say that? No. Oh, okay. I'm just assuming the way he's acting. He, Yeah, he's freaked out. But he's never had a gal with him before. That's true. Never had a milady to malord over. Right. Yeah. Kaylin stood tall and proud next to him. Mm-hmm. She was a person not to be intimidated. Mm-mm. And she doesn't seem like she is. No. Which, like, knowing her powers, right? No problem. Don't. Just don't fuck with her. She's like, I don't Unbothered, care. You what know? the fuck do I care? You're yeah. not dark and raw. I don't exactly. care. Exactly. And that point comes up. Exactly. But, yeah, let's, let's get, yeah, let's go. The men, horny. So horny. <laughs> she walks in and it causes a stir immediately. Mm-hmm. The owner of the bar, who we later find out his name's Bill. It's just easier if we just call him Bill. He's he Bill. comes up. Richard asks if there's a healer in town. Um, he says no. Richard basically decides he likes him because he doesn't look at Kaylin's boobs. <laughs> Which in this bar is one for a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, oh, his eyes aren't wandering, so I guess I can trust him. Mm. Um, so then the scary man, mm. there's a lot of scary men. One of them stands up. Yeah. And did, this you, is... did you write down what he said? What he said? Um... Do you remember? Or try give me your best guess. What did he say? He said, that's an expensive looking whore you have. Yeah. When you're done with her, I bet you wouldn't mind if me and a couple of the guys come up and have our turn. Basically, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, He's got dirty red dreads and a wolf pelt over one shoulder. Yeah. A little cool. A little cool. He's kind of like the guy from Game of Thrones, in my mind. That's what I... The wildling guy. Tormund. Tormund. Giant Spain, that guy? That's what I pictured. I well, literally pictured him. That but meaner, which I feel like is Tormund the first time you meet him. Maybe. Before he becomes Chad Bro. But you could think of it like that. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely Chad Bro. Chad Bro. Chad Bro cool. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of like, he's like a himbo. It's a little different than Chad. <clears throat> it is. Is he a himbo, though? Himbos don't murder like that. In in that world, maybe? Yeah. So he's like, he, if he's he, like a wild if you're himbo? A wi- yeah, all exactly. Right, if right, you're right, a wild right. thing, you would. So anyway, he walks up and spits this absolutely disrespectful, vile shit in Richard's face. And uh, Richard, Richard almost just kills him right there. Yeah, he just goes for Hands the Hands on the sword, and he's just like... Bloodbath time, I get. Now's the time I'm reaching lethal intent. Like, Richard is just charged up. So it's interesting, though, because this sort of threat... I'm trying to think of a really delicate way to say this. Hmm. Even though, at some point, we're just going to be talking about it in depth. But, like, this kind of threat, the... A bunch of big men, we're going to pass her around... Mm -hmm is a theme right oh it's a theme yeah so like we're these books well it's kind of interesting yeah. i'm i'm pa- really paying attention to this because i know that this is going to repeatedly be like a thing mm-hmm. and so i'm like okay this is terry's first time kind of like toying with the idea with the of idea of it group sexual assault slash i mean just rape right yeah, and I still don't really remember, like, the tone that it takes. In future iterations? Yeah, yeah that's fair. Um, every tone, that's what I'll say. Okay. Because this comes up thrice a book, every book. Yeah, I'm always trying to figure out, like, is it... And I think it's hard, because I do think for... I mean, this is Terry's choice, but Kaylin's power directly relates to this sort of a thing okay but not always no no it doesn't she has powers outside of that correct but this is like it is illustrated as a specific way to trigger those powers beyond her own control sure what does that mean though like well in the future it'll mean lots of different things it's utilized as a pun it like a like a well, it a feels like a revenge 
um, like a rape revenge power power kind of, yes. which is interesting. Yeah, but then it's like triple, like redu- like re- like reversed. It's like the Uno reverse card three times sometimes because it'll be like the threat against her is like, well, I have a counter, and then they like, well, we have like three guys, and you can't hit all of us. Like it's just. It comes up a lot in a <laughs> lot of different okay. ways. Yeah. yeah, interesting. His use of sexual assault. I'm yeah. trying to figure out: is it ever intended to be titillating? And if so, is it always? Does it always kind of have that energy, or does it only sometimes have that energy, or does it never? I think that's a hard thing to, to so say. So anyway, I'm just yeah. setting you up with what I'm curious about. I'm curious yeah. about that. I'm curious if I'll frequently feel like it's leaning towards that or if it's leaning towards somebody who's just being like how horrible is this yeah i'm sure it'll sometimes do both i'm i yeah i feel like i feel like terry's mind and richard's mind are very close right now but they're going i think that to separate i don't even know that terry will know that they separate but i think that based on how frequently it revisits itself I think that at some point, I don't know, Terry's shadow is exploring something through yes, Terry. Yes, that's what, right. I'm not, and I'm without not. Without his awareness. Saying it to shit on No, not him. at all. Um, and or maybe I, think, I, maybe I will. Maybe I will shit on him at some point, but I'm not doing that right now. I think this specific instance, Terry and Richard are aligned. This is horrible. Well, yeah, I guess, but I'm like, is it horrible? Kaylin doesn't seem that. Kaylin's fine. And I distressed. guess that's part of it. She handles herself. Yeah. Where Richard almost kills everybody. Right. To be fair, though, her confidence here is clearly coming from a place where she's like, she knows this is not too much of a threat because of her unique skill set. Yes, true. She has an extra. But clearly also she seems to have a background with body men. She does. She seems comfortable with it in that respect. But I think potentially you'd have a higher level of comfort with body men if you're like, if they try to have Anyone sex with that me, comes too far. I'll kill them. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think that that would increase your ability to be comfortable in those scenarios. Oh, it would definitely help. But yeah. Richard doesn't know that yet. So he's thinking I have to defend her because he's thinking. You're right. You're he doesn't right. know any of that. He doesn't. So. I'm saying, I don't know that he was totally overreacting. Because in a situation where you are a woman who does not have that feature in your vagina, (laughs) you maybe do need somebody to take out their big sword. Right? Is that what you said? But Anyway, this man Uh... stands up, announces, I want your expensive whore for a gangbang. Yeah. Yeah. Richard goes for the sword. Kaylin grabs his sleeve and she says, Richard, because she goes up on the end. (laughs) Specified that. (laughs) Kaylin stops him, Mm -hmm. gives, quote, a luscious smile to the man. Luscious. Luscious. And in a throaty voice. (laughs) Yes. I wrote it all down, did you? No, give it to me. I knew you would. She said, you have it all wrong. You see... (sighs) This is my day off. I'm the one who hired him for the night. Bitch. Then she smacks his ass. <gasps> it specifies hard. Hard. Richard goes, oh. <laughs> she, licked, oh. she licked her top lip as she looked at the red-haired man. But if he doesn't give me my money's worth, well, you'll be the first I call to fill the breach. And then she smiles Lasciviously. 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 Fill the breach? Well, first, do you remember when I, I think it was when I posted on Reddit, trying to get people to come listen, Uh that somebody commented about this scene and they said it was their favorite scene. Don't you remember? I do remember that. I remember. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then yeah. I was like, what is he talking about? And I don't know. Richard getting spanked by yes. the bar. And yeah. I was like, what was that now? And I said, I'll be looking forward to it. So, sir, if you're watching, I remembered you and I remember it and we're here. Welcome back. Yeah, that's a move. Okay. So. <laughs> so Kaylin swagged out. She girl bossed all over the place. I was impressed. 
Yeah, that no, that was solid. That was just solid, solid disarmament. Yeah, solid delivery. Nat twenty on the charisma roll. It was iconic. Was, I, it was iconic. It was iconic. Kalo's being iconic. Yeah, I would say Kalo gets like five riz points for that one. Well, no one else has gotten one so far, so let's pepper them. Five. We're just gonna salt bay the riz points on Kalo right now. She that won. gets five. That gets five. You full palm slapped the yeah, seeker's exactly. ass. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you just, you disengaged an entire bar's machismo, you one-upped the seeker, you full-palmed his buta. Yeah, so here's the thing. I think that this, and it does work, right? All the it men works. crack up, they crack and they up. leave them alone. Kaylin continued to smile at the men in a way that only made Richard's anger deepen, which, so he's feeling some sort of way. Kaylin's being like... <laughs> Licking her top lip. And so, Just, yeah. Bill. She's not saying it to Bill. Bill, can I have a free shot? <laughs> <laughs> Some of your finest swill, Bill. That's what she said. Richard's in his feelings. It's interesting because some part of me wanted to be like, oh, what does that tell me about Richard that he's still like getting like fucking angry? Mm-hmm. Even though like it was clear that she was trying to like disarm this scenario yes but then i always have to be like oh he like can't control his anger right now a because he sucks at it because he never had it b because but the, sword the, the sword literally is like, is like weaponizing it against him kill him richard just richard, yeah just blow your load all over this bar oh, richard. no too much i'm sorry that's what the sword say <laughs> too much. that's too much that's the truth of the scenario okay so anyway, I don't know that it told, tells me anything about Richard, really. Uh, no. But <laughs> it comes up later where he's, like, upset that she did this because yeah. he's like, they think that you hired me. They think I'm a whore. And I'm like, did they actually? I I guess my read before that was, yeah. like, they didn't believe her. They were just like, oh, that's really funny. Like, let's leave them alone. No, yeah, the thought literally, I don't think it was, oh, they believe Richard's a whore. They believe she's a whore and a very funny. Oh, one. May- I think maybe. that I think the implication was that she's very good at disarming men. She's just like very mm-hmm. saucy and fun and sexual, and like that joke is so good and shaming her man in front of them that they all felt placated a little bit by maybe that. They're right. I and think- they were like, maybe she will come back looking for more sex later. Who right. knows? I'm yeah. Like I guess I definitely did not read it as they were like oh i misunderstood i see yeah that is your whore man whore yeah Uh, but yeah i think richard thinks that they thought that he probably does yeah because he's stupid Mm -hmm. and but so did you breach wow that's a lot to be saying you're turning into the uh into bill's son randy is that his name? It is. He That's is. so weird. I I wrote it down. It is weird. I didn't notice that. Yeah, that's fine. Do you think it's interesting the juxtaposition of like how Kaylin kind of has been up to this point and how she frequently is with Richard, which is to say very innocent. Yes, yeah, she's very small and very innocent and very like childlike childlike, in a way she seems we made a joke about it where we were like oh richard's so awkward and like clearly has never had sex with anybody yeah but and neither has she because she's been you know mother confessoring and whatever yes mother is mothering (laughs) i've been dying to say it i've been anyway i'm sure i'll get blew your load on that i'll get plenty of opportunities in the future will be mothering mords will be mording it'll be Yeah. yeah and what I was going to say is please <laughs> that I think it's interesting. This weird, I don't know. It's so weird. Cause we're like painting her as like also awkward and sexless and socially mm-hmm. like, uh, what's the word? Juvenile. Like, yeah. yeah. And then, but then we're also like, actually she knows how to work the room. She knows all these like sexy jokes. She's knows how to flirt and mm-hmm. like, I actually, I this time though, I don't think this is like an accident where it's like inconsistent tonally. I think no. Kaylin is supposed to have these really distinct parts of her. Yeah, honey is tone shifting. 
But like for real, I think it's probably part of her confessor's. Honey. Why are you calling her honey? Me like those men. Want a piece of the action. You wouldn't have passed the vibe check for Richard. No, I'd be dead. <laughs> so dead. Um, so yeah, I think it's interesting. I want to explore this. Mm-hmm. I want to explore these two sides of Kaylin. Yeah. And figure out what they mean. And I'm also like hoping that it's not just like a convenience thing. I don't think it is. And that there's like really no. distinct reasoning behind her having such drastic like aspects to her personality. Yeah, I think at least by chain fire we'll definitely get a <laughs> no. summation of that. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I do think that I think Kaylin's a very interesting woman who has had tons of world experience, but also the duty of her position has mm. basically made it so she's never had much honest yeah i guess it's the honesty and like the one-on-one intimacy thing is what she that hasn't she doesn't done. have that she but, yeah. only has ever had this performative okay that makes sense yeah which part of it is clearly dealing with a room full of yeah but i want to know why she's around so many horny men i don't know we'll find out because i feel like she's good at this have you been to the midlands bill is really happy with kaylin and her joke he's loving yep. he's that. loving it she stopped the... Um, Thanks for not getting my fucking bar chopped to shit. Um, Bill's like, okay, here's your room. No Me and my son are going to bring Chase and Zed up the back way. Yeah. So they go into the room. They make the room sound disgusting. You didn't write anything? Okay, no. why did it say the wall next to the single bed was covered with years of spit? Yeah, no, you're right. What the fuck does that mean? The spit was weird. It's one thing to go through and be like, oh, it's like got dirt everywhere. Oh, it kind of smells bad. Uh, Which all of those things are also true. Yeah. But you're telling me that it has a wall of spit? I'm sorry. That is so gross. You shouldn't have that, no. And also just maybe clean it every once in a while. God damn. Bill. Bill. Jesus. How many you got? Like four rooms? Scrub a wall. So Kaylin sits on the bed looking slightly uncomfortable and richard's like pacing the room because he's so upset about her he's pissed her little um performance down there i think it's interesting i think it's interesting that kaylin's like it's just like she was almost like embarrassed to show richard that she like had that side to her yes a little bit she's a little embarrassed but she's also very like also calm down yeah for sure yeah I kind of felt bad that she, like, had to feel bad about it, but, you know. Yeah. Um, Richard says, I can't believe what you did down there. (laughs) And then she said, the result is what matters. And then he said, but those men think. And then she was like, why do you care what those random, what those randos think? And then he says, no. And, like, his face blushes. Because he's like, oh, they think I'm a whore. Or they think you're a whore, or whatever. No, I think he's he's blushing. He thinks that they think he's a whore. Which is insane, but yeah, all right. Like, yeah. <laughs> he thinks it, though. This random woods guy. Look, uh, may, so he's this, handsome. So maybe this is tying into Richard's vanity. He believes he could be a whore. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, maybe he could. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, okay, then wait. This, give me, give me, give me. Yeah. Wait. What is it? So then, Uh Kaylin says, I am sworn to protect the life of the Seeker with my own. I would do anything required to protect you. She gave him a meaningful look, lifting an eyebrow. Anything. Did that have, like, weird sexual tones to it? I mean, yeah, but I think think she's... So so I took this to mean, like, when people say shit like, I'll do anything. She's like, that includes sex. Like, that's not like, you're talking about, yeah, I'll kill for you. Right. I'll walk, ride across the country on a horse for you. I will stay up days without sleeping for you. She's like, I will also fuck people for you because you're going to save the world. Right. I do. Okay. Yes. I agree. I thought that as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Because Which like, I mean, yeah. based. Based. Right. Like, based. That's yeah. It, based. She's like, get over yeah. it, Richard. Bedrock. Yeah. Get over uh-huh. it. If I got to fuck people for this, I will. We were just going to, like, murder Zed, so it's <laughs> like, you know, it's fine. <laughs> and he's like, whoa, you were. I, I was going to leave him with the tender, tender care, tender tear. 
of those so, snakes. Yeah. I understand her point completely. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but it just, I don't know, something about the way I was picturing it was like kind of uh, had a tone where it was like, I'll do anything for you, Richard. Anything. anything. Yeah, it makes you wonder. Yeah. I, did, I was like, and then knowing some of the stuff that happens later yeah. with her. With, do you know what I'm referring to? I mean, you couldn't possibly be referring to the penultimate scene of the Temple of the Winds. But it actually is Richard. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's such a... It's it, Richard, but yeah. she thinks it's not Richard, but then it is Richard. But she was doing it for Richard. But Richard's like, you did... I know it was me, but you didn't think it was me. And That's such I don't a fucking like Terry that. plot. God damn. <laughs> you sucked my own dick. My wife sucked my dick, but she thought it wasn't my dick. She thought it was my twin brother's dick, and that makes Who's his twin bad. brother? He appears for one book, and then he goes No, away. don't say that. Yeah, I think they kill him. Like, he dies. Or something. I don't know. He looks just like Richard. Or is she blindfolded? I don't know. Whatever. She's not blindfolded. Whatever. She's not blindfolded. Yeah, I don't know. Sex magic to open the Temple of the Winds is what it is. So anyway, um, when she said anything, she meant it. She meant it. And she'll prove it. Hell and high water. Richard's struggling yeah. with his anger. Yes, he is. Once it's set off, this guy can't get it together. No. But when he's looking at Kaylin, he starts calming down. That's in her, nice. In her green eyes or something. Um, yeah, he's got magic angered blue balls right now. Yeah. The sword yeah. wants blood for being insulted or something. Then they hug. Then they hug awkwardly. Because I thought they were around the same height, but she hugs him softly with her head in his chest with both arms. That's how it's... That's... Yeah, you were making it like she's really tall, but I don't know if that's true. I thought they were looking almost eye to eye at some point, but I don't know. Anyway. Um, Bill knocks at the door. They bring Chase in with his son. I guess his name is Randy. Randy, my boy. And Richard comments on how Randy is in love with Kaylin. Randy's Randy. And Bill's like, you didn't tell me that your friend... Was Del Brandstone. Okay, where did this name come from? We just are given it by Bill. What's up with this? Chase is a clever little pet name, I guess. Did but Richard didn't seem disturbed by it, so no, clearly he, he knew that no, it was his name. Was we a, just we were out in the cold. This was Nobody a, told us a cool little his insertion. name was Del. Yeah, no. And then so Brandstone is his last name, so Yes. And that makes sense. So Chase is just a nickname? Chase is his code name or his ranger name, I don't know. Yeah, that Warden felt like name. it was like, I feel like if somebody drops a new name, you're supposed to be like, oh, but it wasn't treated that way. <laughs> Not at all. We didn't talk about it. Nope. Um, they leave to go get Zed, Randy, mm-hmm. and Bill. Yep. Richard gives Kaylin money, and he's like, give it to the boy when he comes back and tell him to take care of our horses. Yep. Oh, yeah. Which... Oh, this part was so annoying. This was like the one... I honestly liked every... I didn't really have any complaints um, except for this little... Well, like, and do, I, I have reasons why that annoyed me. I have a lot of reasons. Yeah. What are yours? So, he does this whole scene with the coins, right? And he goes like, oh, Kalen, when he comes back, you give him the coin and tell him to like watch the horses for you as, as a favor. And I'm like, this whole fucking scene where Richard's so angry that Kalen lied about one or both of them being whores and, like, <laughs> was sexual towards people to, like, get them to be on her side, which how dare she. He's immediately flipping it and being like, well, that boy's in love with you, so make him do, like, dangerous slave labor yeah, that's for true. you. Richard's like, it's only okay if I told you to do it. Uh-huh. What okay, is that? Okay, control freak. Control freak? Dom, but like dangerous no, Dom. Like bad. Red, red flags, Dom, you know? Like, yeah, so double standards. Ew, yeah. Um, so. Did, tell me what else you hate about Richard's I, I coin treatment. I don't like it because. I just don't like. Honestly, more than that, I don't like Kaylin's characterization uh. in this, like, back and forth and when they talk about it again later. Because she's. They're, for whatever reason, he's, like, making her really, like, dumb and being like. I don't why, Richard? Why? Why do you want me to ask? You could ask. What, me? And it's like, you we just, just proved yeah, yeah, yeah. that point. she understands that she can manipulate men okay, so, by being beautiful. So, so yes. I think she'd get it. No, no. So I think that, I. so this is stupid, but I think what 
Terry was doing here. Kalen knows how to manipulate horny, randy, bad men. Oh, not good men? Not good, sweet boys who are just innocently pining after her. She suddenly well, yeah. feels very scared and weird about doing that and, like, can't that understand the sense. connection okay, between that, the two. Okay, okay, okay. So that makes sense in a way. We're like, yeah, kind because of. if your main approach to this mm-hmm. is to be really overtly sexual and yes. forward uh-huh. you're obviously not going to do that to like the kid who's got a no, crush I, on I, you I, yes yeah. so i get that she might not have like a uh i don't know like some special style of a, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah but i'm saying i think any i think men giving her eyes of lust she knows how to treat that young men giving her like whatever that is that like admirational like Fine. i'd like to date you that makes her feel like deeply uncomfortable i get that and she doesn't connect the two no but like i get it okay fine but even if she's like it doesn't come to her mind immediately to like do that mm-hmm. or it makes her a little uncomfortable she's acting like she doesn't understand correct it. that's because terry wants richard to explain it to i us. that's okay so that's yeah. precisely what i'm taking issue with yeah, more than I anything I, if she was able to deliver that fucking speech in the bar she'd know exactly why it, you, well, you even if would. she even if it makes and her uncomfortable was, yeah, and she might be like i don't want to do that sure that would give her a lot more agency if she said i don't want to do that i'd understand she's just being like huh and i just yeah. it's again and just, richard believes yeah doing that's good and doing the other one's bad and it's like i would say the opposite. i would say the opposite i'd say if anything, flirting with the horny dudes to make them not want to kill you, good move. And manipulating the sad, sweet little it's boy sort of sad. in the ta- in the like poor town for like yeah. a job that could get him killed. Watching horses is not like nothing. Okay, well, that's a little dramatic. But... These men are gonna like kill and rob an old man who's like half dead in a palanquin. Like palanquin. <laughs> wow. Is that the, is that the right word? A palanquin, I think, is like... Is that like what you put an emperor on and yeah, like, walk through the streets? Yeah, yeah no. that's like for a queen. So not that, uh, whatever, uh, it, whatever it was called. Yeah, that's like a fancy thing that the people carry. Well, his head honestly should have been in one. Well, and they spent not. several hours on it, so maybe it's a little nice. <laughs> anyway. So... Yeah, I just... I didn't like Richard's attitude here. And then she says... I don't know. This... She says to him, what makes you think he will do it about the horses? And it's like, I just don't think she's as stupid. Whether or not she's uncomfortable with it. What makes you think he'll do it? It's like, well, first of all, he I, might they even, work in the service right. industry. They do things for money. He might even do it if Richard asks. They might do it for free. It's a fucking inn. Like, I don't know. So I think that's what a, makes you think he'll wash our horses. I, it just felt like it felt less like actually Kaylin's characterization. And like you said, more just like Terry was like, I really need them to explain this. And I think it's annoying. Yeah. Um, and then Richard gives a short laugh. Don't worry, he'll do it if you ask. Just smile. It's like immediately like shaming her. Ew, for what I don't she just did. like it. Um, you ever wonder where they poop? Like in the woods, it's one thing, but like, is there a bathroom? There's in the obviously gonna be a bathroom, but they don't have toilet paper. I don't know. They might as well just shit on the spit wall. Yeah, they shit on the spit wall. It'll <laughs> clean it up a little Who bit. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, no, there was a I, shit wall on the other side of the room. That's what it was. Yeah. I just assumed there was like some nasty outhouse or something. Yeah. What did you do for toilet? Is it leaves? What do you mean? How are people wiping asses? In the woods? Or even in the outhouse. In fantasy newspaper. settings at all. They don't have that. I don't know. They don't got newspapers in the outhouse. Corn cobs. That's what they used to do. You wipe your ass with a corn cob? Look it up. I'm not looking Look that it up. up. I'm not looking that up. Corn cob toilet paper. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see it either. I'm just telling you it's Then why a are you going to the image tab? <laughs> why are you going to Google Images? Oh, God. Corn cob toilet paper. Stop. <laughs> what did people do before toilet paper? Dried corn cobs. Bill tells them that the only person who can help, Jason said, maybe, is bone woman Addie. Of course. So we were already going to go see. So. Conveniently also a healer. And the men don't like to go near her because if she doesn't like people, they will mysteriously drop dead. Yep. So she's a bad bitch is what bad they're bitch, saying. Bad bitch, curses, bad luck, and she lives near the boundary. Well, I'm excited to see her. Spooky. 
Um, Bill makes a joke about Kaylin staying and just marrying his son because his son likes oh, her so much. Yeah. And then Kaylin has an odd look of pain and panic that flashed across her eyes. She sat on the bed looking down at the floor. Which... Back to that innocence again. So, yeah, I mean, I, I was like, is this more than her just being like sad that she can't have normal relationships? Like, is it just like the whole concept of like marrying somebody upsets her? Yes, I think falling in love, she getting married, love. she's not allowed to do that. She's always wanted to. She's a little girl in that respect. Okay. It's just crushing. That's what I thought. I think just like don't fucking bring that up to me because I want it so bad. Yeah, so yeah. Bill brings them dinner. Well, he sa- he says he's going to bring them dinner. He says, I'm going to bring you guys some potatoes and meat. And yeah. Richard goes, what kind of meat? 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 And But this is weird because Kaylin did this to him. Yes. I, at Michael's party. I noticed party. that. I kind of thought maybe Terry got confused. I, I don't know. Well, I was like, why is everyone always freaking out about meat? You can't just say meat. What kind of meat? <laughs> and he's like, don't worry. I got good meat. He doesn't answer him. I know, but like everyone, I couldn't serve these men bad meat; they'd kill me. Everyone's being offered meat and then bugging out. Well, then also like acting like meat, like you, they're in the woods, right? Yeah, and they then could hunt. He like says, a- "Bill's like, oh, it's not bad. I wouldn't serve everybody down there bad meat." And I'm like, "This guy's also been like pretty nice to you. What you really think he's just gonna bring up like rotten meat?" Yeah, and then we also, and what else are you eating? Like vegetable soup? Like what? I don't know. Fucking just vegetable. Like, he's oh, sorry, it's only ceviche tonight. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, he's got meat. He's got fucking I, what else angry, did you horny want? men. What? What's your vegan menu looking like? Yeah, I'm sir? sorry. Do you have anything gluten free on here? Um, Kaylin cannot have flour. Listen. Yeah. That would be me. Is this the only cheeses you have? No, Kaylin would never. This part I thought was really awkward. Yeah. Well, oh, Richard and Bill's fucking... The tally book. God damn This part it. is so weird. Yeah, but this is so very not... Um, it's not libertarian of him, which is interesting. I mean, it is and it's not it's at not. the same time. It, it's not not. It's not not. Anyway, keep going. Well, I what, don't know. D- first discuss of all, first the, of all, the convolution here. There's a lot of things. Yeah. What is a tally book? And I, am I supposed to know... Yeah, what do you mean? What is a tally book? A tally book's just like a business log. What do you mean? He's just saying, like, I write in the book everyone, like, all the money I make and all the things, and then I pay taxes on that. But I just don't, I don't understand. When the wardens come and do stuff here, it's government business. They're, like, being... I give them it for free, and then the government reimburses me. Okay, so a tally book is just a ledger. It's a ledger. Okay. Yeah. Fine. So... I don't get Any the other questions. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't get the interaction because Richard thanks Bill. He's like, "Okay, thank you for everything." Yeah, and Bill's reaction is, "No worries, I'll put it in my tally book." Which is that the equivalent of being like, "No worries, you're gonna pay." <laughs> like, what does that mean? Yeah, he well, he goes into it at length. I mean, it's in there. I'm gonna charge everything you did to my tally book, and the government will have to pay me back. Which is oh, what happens. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay, so he was saying. Got it. Because yeah. Chase is with you, yes. I can get the government to reimburse Yeah, don't me. worry. He's here now, so everything's on the house, but not really. I get my money back. All right, later. so then it's actually not that awkward. No, it kind of is. It's still like, why are we talking about your tally book like for Well, it was just a shoehorned way. Yeah, for Richard to be For noble. Richard to say that his bro- that Michael's his brother. Yes. He was like, I'm going to bring my tally book. Like, any is there anyone who will recognize your signature? Which I thought was a weird question. But then, it's not when you're showing it to the government official to be like, see, this is the person that signed for it. They owe me money. You have to pay. And they can be like, that's that oh, can be anyone's God, name. Oh, God, I misunderstood everything. Richard says, yeah, they'll definitely know who I am because my brother is the first counselor of mm-hmm. the Westlands, yep. actually. Richard said, my brother's Obama. <laughs> yeah. And then and then immediately Bill's, <laughs> he Bill's like, I'm so sorry. I can't leave you in the spit room. Here, have my house. Have my shoes. <laughs> fuck my kid. Like... <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the attitude. No, he was trying to get her to marry him. So I was like, yeah, eh. right. Yeah. Fuck my, have, go have sex with him now. He's yours. Well, yeah. So anyway, the, I, like 
go live in my house. It sounds like you're making a joke. That's actually what he says. Yeah, he's like, no, literally, like, I'll move out for the night. Like, it's not much, but, like, it's yours. And they're like, don't do that. Richard's like, no. <laughs> We're cool where we are. I didn't walk in here saying my brother is X, Y, Z. You need to do this for me now. He's like, that incidentally came up because I shoehorned it into this fucking conversation. But anyway. But it, no, it's kind of, I don't actually think it's that bad now. It's fine. It told me stuff. It told it's me fine. things about like the dynamic of like how people feel about Michael. Yeah. And... Well, and Bill was shitting all over the government and the army before that and taxes. And then like, and well, then yeah. he's like, oh no, you're... Right, and then Bill's like, oh my god, you're not going to bring the army here, right? And Richard's like, no. Richard's like, I don't even know her. <laughs> yeah. And then, Who is army? Uh, yeah, so then Bill tries to, like, convince Richard to sign off on him. He's like, oh, you won't mind if I put you down for, like, three rooms then because right. you had all these guests. And he's like, I will not sign it. No, I like that. That's like, it's saying, like... I'm a libertarian, but at the same time, if we're, like, functioning within a system, we still need to be, like, honest, which are Facts. good values. It's good values, yeah. Richard tells Bill that he's going to kill anybody who tries to come into their room. Bill's like, I'll try to keep them out. And then Richard tells Bill the boundary is going to fall soon, which was nice of him. That was nice of him. To pass that information yeah. along. And then Bill kind of acts like it was extremely nice of you to tell me, but I think he already knew. Yeah, he didn't seem surprised. He was like, yeah, I mean, figures, considering how many monsters are running around, but you're a good egg. And yeah. you should be president, he not say, Obama. He literally says that. And Caitlin and Richard eat their little dinner. Um, yep. Sort of figure out how they're going to do their watch yeah. for the night. She starts pushing potatoes around the plate a bunch. She's upset. Yeah. That Richard's like in this whole situation, that he's the seeker, that he's going to have to like murder a bunch of people. She feels mm. bad. Um, and then Richard says, I wouldn't have missed the journey for anything. Gives me time to be with my friend. I don't like the whole like friend thing. The they... friend and the special smile. I don't. But it's funny because I liked it a lot. When you were younger. Yeah, I remember I, I did. I thought it was all very cute. And it's still cute. It is But it cute. feels very similar to my brain at 17. In your innocent place. So maybe that is good then. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So yeah, maybe, actually. Maybe so it doesn't matter if Caitlin I like it. Caitlin and Richard it, are physically older, but, but they are acting much more innocent and younger due to the burdens placed on them by their societies they grew up in or yeah. something. Then Kaylin brings up the fucking horses again. The the boy. She's like, why did you want me? Please explain for I'm the so audience, confused. Richard and Terry. Why oh, I'm did so you... dumb. Why did you want me to ask that poor boy? And then he like weaponizes her shit against her. And he's like, oh, well, results, remember? Like, fuck you. Yeah, that did feel. Um, I. It's like, I think Terry's very quick to say when things are like off kilter or underhanded i think terry missed this one he did it subconsciously i don't actually know if you're right i'm like i'm thinking about it i think you maybe think he it... knew that richard was being a dick yeah, maybe and maybe he'll apologize for it at length in four chapters we'll find out um yeah and he's basically like you have power over men this and that and then Kaylin's sad again which good job richard and yeah, look, look you did she had a haunted look <laughs> yeah Kaylin does first watch she wakes Richard up in the morning. He takes over. And then we're left with another cliffhanger. Bill knocks on the door. There's a knock at the door. There's a knock at the door. Bill is waiting for you. <laughs> Bill is waiting for you. It's... He says, He's there's here. trouble. It's down in the bar. Who could it be? I'm dun, dun, adding dun, that dun, part because that's not what he said. He just said, there's trouble. I might have run ahead and know what trouble is. Well, don't tell me, because I, I don't know. You'll find out next time. Yeah. That's it. And that's it. Bill's at the door. There's trouble. Yeah. Very, very ring wraithy in the other inn sort of situation. And here we are. I was going to... I don't know why I didn't do it. I was going to write down usernames for everybody who comments a lot <sighs> and say hello individually. You want to... Pause no, and say it right it's now. late. I would, yeah. but it's late. Okay. So I'm probably going to do that next time. Okay. I thought it might be kind of funny for me to just try to do it off the top of my head, but yeah. that could go bad. Yeah, it could. I honestly, I think I could. 
I think you could too. I couldn't. Fried chicken wizard, uh, thank you for. <laughs> <laughs> you want? You want to make up another one? Um. Black snake seeker, thank you for. <laughs> Dark and Rawls whore, sixty nine. That probably exists. That, that definitely exists. Yeah. I wish there was more fan art. Michael fan, fifteen. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, I'm really upset. Really, What's really going? Not. Yeah, I need to bring Enough. this up. What, What's me. going on? I try to look because, like, I want to put the, I want to put like fun fan art in my Instagram stories. Anytime yeah. an episode comes out, I'm always like, oh, I want to find fan art of like the Something main characters or, or yeah. yeah, like uh-huh. I, I can't find anything, and I feel like there's if it's not a Mord Sith, they didn't draw. Yeah, it. I can find some. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Which can't post yet yeah um and it'll be like some drawing of a mord sith that's been like plasticized and photoshopped like 75 times yes yes they're always very shiny very shiny well um, you gotta make that latex pop yeah now people are making a lot of like ai mord sith i keep coming across it really yeah well anyway what's up with the lack of fan art in this fandom i've never seen a fandom that doesn't have fan art like this one i think it's probably a high propensity of male fans that's probably true. And men are generally not as fandom-y good fandom as the artists. girls. They are drawing other things. God damn it. I know. I just want to put a fucking gar in my story, you know what I mean? Someone draw me a gar. No, I mean, there's some, but... Yeah, someone draw me a gar well. <laughs> Yikes. I'm going to have to start drawing. You should. Take up the pencil of truth. All right. Well, yeah, so I'm sorry that I didn't write you guys down. But trust me, I know who you are. I know who you are. And we love you, each and every one. We should end. We should end, yeah. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us again. Thank you. Bye, Once guys. again. Love you. Bye.